Will you be the one to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System? The one to play with Rob, the extraordinary video robot, batteries not included. He helps you tackle even the toughest challenge. Will you be the first to raise the incredibly accurate zapper and play games like Duck Hunt? The first to play Super Mario Brothers for the most spellbinding adventures ever seen. Will you be the one to experience the Nintendo Entertainment System? Comes with Rob, Zapper, Control Deck, two controllers, Gyromite, and Duck Hunt. So here is my entire Nintendo collection. I keep it on this shelf. Sharp TV, my complete inbox Nintendo. We'll talk about that. But uh, yeah, we'll just do a quick pan and then we'll talk about some games. What is going on everybody? Welcome to my 2019 NES original Nintendo Entertainment System collection update. Since our last video, God, it's probably been a couple years is what it feels like. But we've added some really nice titles. We've added some really cool stuff to the collection. So I figured I'd just do an update video and sort of show it off. And if you don't want to see any of that, you don't want to listen to me blather on about how much I love the Nintendo. You just want to skip to the games, go to this, that timestamp right there, and it'll take you right to the games. For everybody that's sticking around, thank you. Maybe we can share some memories together. I love the Nintendo. It is probably my most nostalgic console. My brother and I had one growing up. So many great games on it. Uh, it's really the console that got me into the gaming thing. And um, yeah, it just, you get all those warm fuzzies, right? Like you, you get one hour of uh, video game time and on winter days, you get two hours. You know, my parents would limit uh, the amount of time we could play on the Nintendo, and uh, we just made those moments count, you know, whether it was playing Tecmo Bowl with the neighbor kids, or trying to go through the first level of Ninja Gaiden, stuff like that. Uh, beating Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3, just a lot of great memories, you know. Uh, man, I don't know what else to say about the Nintendo. Tell me what some of your favorite games are down below. But uh, yeah, this little bad boy basically saved an industry, so even though I don't like every game on the console, I, I do think that we need to show it some respect, the proper respect, and it is awesome. So just starting off real quick, this is my boxed action set with a service merchandise sticker on it. Got that from a family member. They were going to throw it away, but this is the box that I had when I was a kid, and I absolutely love having it in the collection. Uh, you can see I love displaying it. This guy right here, it's a Sharp NES TV made in 1989. Um, I got that recently at a garage sale for 50 bucks, which was a steal of a deal. I love having it in the collection. I will say if you're thinking about getting one of these things though, uh, they do take up quite a bit of space. They're about 24 inches wide because of these feet and about 16 to 18 inches deep. So make sure you get the, uh, the appropriate like coffee table or whatever. So I remember, you know, going to like Toys R Us and uh, you'd walk down the Nintendo aisle we never had a Genesis or anything like that, so I just, you know, I never even looked at those games. But they'd have like a like a plastic thing with a little ta a ticket, and you could like flip it up and read the back of the game box and stuff. And you would take that ticket up to the register, you'd pay for it. Then you'd go over to the game cage, and uh, they would give you your game. It's funny, you know, like I ordered Spider-Man for PlayStation 4. I get it from GameStop, I put it in my backpack, I go to work, I come back, put it in my PlayStation 4 stuff, and I open it when I'm ready to play it. But when you're a kid, you know, and you would get these games, you would just tear them open. Cellophane comes off, box goes flying across the room, manuals over on the other side of the room. You wanna put this thing in and play it, uh, you know, just, man. If we would've just kept all the boxes and manuals from when we were kids, you know, if we had parents that just bought like a plastic tub and just put boxes and manuals in there, uh, that would've been sweet. But yeah, it's just great times, you know, it just takes you back to the late, the late 80s. Uh, 1990, I was in that 11, 12 year old range. So Nintendo was a perfect console for me and then transitioning into the Super Nintendo. So what I figure we'll do is we'll just go through the stack of games there and then we'll just cover the box games at the end if that's okay with you, not that you have a choice. Anyway, here we go. First and foremost, I just wanna say that uh, I am not going for a complete 
Nintendo collection, but I will pick them up cheap if I find them. So, and then just add them to the collection if they're like dirt cheap, you know, or I get a lot and I sell some, uh, you know, stuff like that. But uh, I really just want my childhood collection back and we're getting down to like five or six games. It's Casino Kid 2, Micro Machines, Mystery Quest, Yodnoid, and G.I. Joe Real American Hero, and Adventure Island 2. For some reason, I completely blanked on Adventure Island 2. I used to rent that uh, when I'd go stay with my moms on the weekend. And uh, I wasn't very good at it, but uh, I really enjoyed that game. I play it on my emulator, and I can get to the last world. Can't beat it yet. Uh, so you'll see we removed the games from this case here, which was cool. Uh, I keep trying to keep them in alphabetical order. So we got 10 yard fight. I don't know where to put these. Stack them up right here. How about that? Uh, Boy and his blob. I heard that's a pretty good game. People like that one. The first Adventure Island. That's what made me think of Adventure Island too. Is that I have the other one. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Al Unser's Turbo Racing. Bad Dudes. Had this game when I was a kid. My brother and I, we love this game. I love the, um, it's not the train stage, it's the trucks where you're jumping across the trucks and you pick up the cans of Coke for uh, health. Love that. Bandai Golf. Jason Vectrek sent me this one. Barbie. I'm sure he's got plenty of copies of that laying around by his bed. Uh, baseball Stars. You got Bases Loaded. Bases loaded three. I'm an RBI guy, RBI baseball guy. Battle chess, love this. If, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's a chess game where when your piece attacks another piece, they like kill them and crush them and burn them. Bigfoot and uh, Blades of Steel. Usually you're in, you're in one of two camps. You're a Blades of Steel guy or an ice hockey guy. I am an ice hockey guy for sure. Next stack, we're starting off hot. Breakthrough, you guys know I'm a huge uh, fan of this game. I talked about it in a video. Uh, Combat Racing, man, by Daddy East. Pretty good, kind of like Spy Hunter, except you're going horizontally and not vertically. Not bad, we got Burger Time. Every time is Burger Time, am I right? California Games, this game was a big deal back in the day, man. Uh, I know it's not exciting now, but uh, when the, the West Coast you know, hacky sack, surfing, uh, BMX biking, skateboarding phase started to come in in the, the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. Uh, games like this were just like all the rage. You had to have them. And you felt like you were getting more value because there's like, you know, four mini games or five mini games on there. So you felt like you got more, more than one game. You know, Captain Skyhawk. Caesar's Palace. I think I got that for like two bucks. Casino Kid, the first one. Casino Kid 2 is one of the ones I need. I had that at my mom's house. I had a complete box, by the way. But, uh, yeah. Cybernoid. Deadly Towers. I always like that cover art, man. That looks so fierce. Uh, Destination Earth Star. I actually played a little bit of that. Not too bad. Ah, childhood game right here, man. Dick Tracy. I could never really figure out where to go or what to do when I was a kid. Uh, but I watched like Mike Matei's video on it and a couple other people's reviews. I now know what I'm supposed to do uh, 30 years later. So I will have to get back to that one and, and see what we can do. Another childhood game, the Blue Marlin. Great game, cheap. I didn't realize that you could actually beat this game, but you know, it's like a tournament fishing game every day. You gotta meet like a certain uh, weight limit for fish. And if you do that, you complete that objective, then you move on. It's like a three or four day tournament. Double Dragon 2. Can't remember where I got that. I may have got that in a lot. Uh, classic right here, Double Dribble. Fester's Quest. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf, which features zero fighting. Kind of a bummer. Final Fantasy. This cartridge is like heavy. You know what I mean? Like you can feel that there's some oomph to it. Of course, it's got a gold label, so it's battery backup. Uh, yeah, everybody loves Final Fantasy, man. Kind of an obscure game here, not a game that you see a lot of. Uh, the Secret Scroll Flying at Dragon, one of those culture brain games. Not bad. All right, next stack, classic right here, Blaster Master. Ghostbusters. Here's uh, Vic Tokai, baby, right here. This is uh, one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. I could never get anywhere in this game, especially when you got to the uh, 
like the indoor mazes, but it is top secret episode Golgo 13. God, what a great game. That part where, uh, I think it's like at the end of the first level, where you got to use the sniper rifle and you shoot that guy and like blood comes splattering out of his head. I remember being a kid being traumatized. I was like, whoa, they can't put that on Nintendo. But they did. Along with heavy shredding. Here we go. Ice hockey. Awesome arcade action right there. I loved it. Kari Warriors 2, Victory Road. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The uh, officially licensed Nintendo cartridge. I think this is the one that also has a Tengen cartridge released for it. Ah, one of my favorite games from the Atari days. Had to have it on Nintendo. Joust. Awesome arcade game. I remember I bought this Karnov at uh, Half Price Books for like five bucks. I've never played it. <laughs> Kid Cool. Uh, Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. You know, there's kind of mixed reviews about this. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I, uh, I actually kind of like it. You get sort of a, as many continues as you need. And uh, yeah, not bad. Kings of the Beach. Beach volleyball was a thing back then too. King's Knight, which is a square game. I think uh, Pro Jared did a review on that. If any of you are still subscribed to Pro Jared. Uh, Knight Rider. Amazing show, man. I love Knight Rider as a show. We've got uh, The Simpsons, Krusty's Funhouse. And the last game in that stack is Kung Fu Heroes. Uh, I'm already laughing, man. I'm already laughing because uh, <laughs> this game brings back some memories. Gauntlet. Gauntlet is an amazing arcade game. Uh, absolutely designed to be a quarter eater. Uh, you stand there and your health goes down. You know, you get hit by an enemy, your health goes down. You get the poison, your health goes down. I remember my dad, when he played in the bowling league, they had the, you know, the four-player arcade cabinet at the, at the bowling alley. And we would sit there and play that for hours along with the uh, Ninja Turtles game. Legacy of the Wizard. Uh, Little League Baseball. SNK game. That's probably a good game. SNK made some really good stuff. Lunar Pool. One of my childhood games. I loved it. I loved it. Marble Madness. Magic Darts. You guys know I'm a complete dart snob. Uh, and we had this game when I was a kid. We loved it. There's an alien and he throws the darts like this. Like, throws them up. Pretty cool. Magic Johnson Fast Break. Here's a series that I didn't get into until the PlayStation. Metal Gear. Even though we had uh, the second one. Snake's Revenge. Which, do I need that? Add that to the NES list, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Got this from Smash JT. If I remember correctly, I won this in a Cavs versus Celtics basketball bet. So, ah, games won are twice as good as games bought, right? So, but he keeps telling me, he's like, you need to play that. You need to play that. And I'm like, you're right. Just backlog is real. You know what I mean? We've got Mission Impossible. Another game that I had when I was a kid. It's awesome. These are the types of games after I sell off lots, I get stuck with. Nobody wants to buy them. So I add them to the collection. Uh, Bill Elliott's NASCAR. Ninja Gaiden 2. Don't really like the uh, weather elements in that game. We've got Pac-Man, the Tengen cartridge. Paperboy. And Pro Wrestling. Here we go. Next stack, we've got Punch-Out. Rad Racer. Cubert. Rampage. The Rocketeer. This is a game I loved as a kid. Roller Games. Anybody remember that show, Roller Games? Uh, I got this one from Sprooch Game Hunting. Ski or Die. Did not actually know that that existed until he sent it to me, which was nice. We've got uh, another Sunsoft game. we got Sky Kid. Here's a uh, Rareware game. It's Slalom. Black Box game. Here it is. Snake's Revenge. That's the Metal Gear game that we had when I was a kid. And if I remember, we cheated like a mofo. Uh, we found the codes or the passwords or whatever and uh, got all the weapons. Underrated Nintendo game right here, the Space Shuttle Project. Go on a bunch of space missions like fix satellites and deploy satellites and fix space stations, all kinds of stuff. Very, very good game here. I love it. Solomon's Key. Spy Hunter. 
We got Star Force. You guys know I love my shooters. Star Soldier. Uh, I'm going to say it. The granddaddy of them all, man. Star Soldier. Uh, and all of, all of the Star Soldier games. Just excellent. Star Tropics. And uh, here's, the, here's a game you don't really see every day. I wouldn't say it's rare or anything. But we've got Supercars. Okay, here we go. Superman. It's actually a really nice label on that, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, Super Spike Volleyball. My brother and I used to play that. We got uh, Super Spike Volleyball and Nintendo World Cup. The Double Cart. We got Super Jeopardy. Game that does not get a lot of love. Tag Team Wrestling. Love Tag Team Wrestling. My brother and I used to play that all the time. Uh, wow, that really looks... Glary. Hmm, I don't know. Let's hit the reset. See, I tried to make it a little bit, tried to jazz it up for you, you know? TNC Surf Design, Tecmo Wrestling, Thunderbirds, another game that I don't actually see in the wild a lot. I think I picked that up at uh, VGMX for a couple bucks. Time Lord, just added that one to the collection. Tiny, Tiny Tunes 2, Trouble in Wacky Land, right? WCW World Championship Wrestling. Wheel of Fortune. Based on the number one hit TV game show. Yes, it was. Wheel of Fortune was the bomb back in the day. Uh, Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? I don't know if anybody remembers the Carmen Sandiego show from the mid-90s, but man, I used to watch it every day when I go home from school. Iron Sword, Wizards, and Warriors 2. Iron Sword, Wizards, and Warriors 3 with a kind of crispy, burnt-out label there. Uh, the game does work, though. World Games. That's a dumpster fire. WWF WrestleMania Challenge. With the free piece of dust on the top. Two great games here. Two great shooters to end off these stacks. We've got Xevious, The Avenger. Great game. And then uh, Zanak, awesome shooter. Uh, kind of plays a little bit like Gunnack, but uh, again, very difficult, very difficult game. We do have a Quattro 4-in-1 Adventures cart. I've actually never even popped this in to see if it works. Uh, we got Tengen carts here, we got Super Sprint, Pac-Man, and then we've got RBI Baseball 1, 2, and 3. With uh, RBI Baseball being my favorite, man. It's such a nostalgic game. You know, the uh, American League All-Star team on here has got, you know, Don Mattingly and George Brett, Jose Canseco, all the guys that I loved watching play ball when I, when I was a kid. Excuse me. And then the National League team has, you know, like Will Clark, Eric Davis. <laughs> uh, just crazy, crazy, crazy. So love RBI Baseball. So that's going to basically do it for uh, that stuff. Now let's just jump into some of these. Well, you can't see it. Let me show it to you. I've got a bunch of these black bins that uh, we've got some games in there. And that's where I keep all of my favorite stuff. So I love finding these uh, black NES boxes, you know, these little travel boxes they had when we were kids. I've got two different sizes. I've got a 10-pack and a 15-pack of these. So we'll just go over and do the... the the 10 packs real quick. I managed to squeeze an extra game into one of them, but we've got uh, Donkey Kong Classic, Donkey Kong 3, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Castlevania, Simon's Quest, uh, Dracula's Curse, and then Super C and Life Force. So just give you a quick, quick view of those, which is awesome. And then this one, uh, I tried to make this, if I were going over to my friend's house, which games would we would we pack in here, you know? So I put in The Punisher, love that game, Operation Wolf, Dig Dug 2, one of my all-time favorites right here, Kung Fu. I'm actually looking for a box for Kung Fu, so if anybody has a box for Kung Fu in a decent condition that they want to sell or trade, let me know. This one here, you're not going to see the font, but it is Wolverine, love that game when I was a kid. I can beat that game. Uh, maybe need some practice. We got RoboCop. Underrated game right here. This is Kabuki Quantum Fighter. I have a Let's Play of that on my channel, so check that out. Jackal. 
One of my all-time favorite co-op games from when I was a kid. Uh, my brother and I used to play this. My dad used to like to play that, that game. So we've got Ice Climber, another awesome co-op game. Double Dragon, need the box for that one. And Ninja Turtles 2. Okay, so here's a, here's a quick story. When, uh, first of all, I need the box. Anybody's got the box for that? Let me know. When we were kids for Christmas, we had a Christmas tree downstairs in the basement. And uh, my brother and I snuck down there. And some of our presents came in bags, you know, like those uh, like wrapping paper bags, you know. And uh, we were able to get the tape off of them. And uh, we looked in there. My brother got Ninja Turtles too, and I got Silent Service. I think he got the better end of that deal. Not that Silent Service is that bad. I actually kind of enjoy Silent Service from time to time. But Ninja, it's Ninja Turtles too, man. Come on. But uh, good thing we had one Nintendo, so my games were his games and his games were my games kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I just, I love that. I just, I, I need the box for that, man. I can never find the box. Uh, these are awesome. These are 15 uh, game cases. Put all my con, uh, Capcom games in here. Down here I got Super Mario Brothers, uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet. That's what the, what's in there. But uh, we've got 1942, 1943, Codename Viper, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, Kingdom, Ghost and Goblins, uh, G.I. Joe Atlantis Factor, Legendary Wings, Street Fighter 2010, Strider, Section Z, and this one I don't actually see a lot. This is Destiny of an Emperor. So I think it's an RPG type game. I remember when I got it, I got it in a lot and it was really, really dirty. It took forever to clean, uh, but eventually it did work, man. You know, I know we don't know what the shelf life is on these games, but they're, they're pretty tough. Uh, if you keep them stored right, clean them, you know, and keep them, keep them protected, though, they seem to like run forever. So here is my second case of 15. Um, I just kind of put all the games that I sort of had with the manual. I didn't want them on the main shelves to get roughed up. But we've got Star Wars, Hunt for Red October, Ghostbusters 2, Jaws, Karate Champ, Mock Rider, MLB Baseball, which is a really cool game. I remember like it had like actual team rosters for that year. Othello, Pinball, Stealth, Tiger Heli, great game. Top Gun, Second Mission, and Winter Games. So this one's sort of worn out and has had some love. From I do have a couple of these cases, so I'm gonna say like from time to time, I'll put games in here. Uh, Protection-wise, these hard cases are great. Display-wise, they're really not that great because they're kind of foggy on it, but uh, in the blue one here, we got the Blue Bomber himself. We've got uh, Mega Man. You guys know I'm a huge Mega Man fan. Uh, Mega Man 3 is in this one. And I actually have the manual for that. So again, one of those things, I need the box, which would be awesome. And then I recently picked this up. I got it for 50 bucks which is a little bit more than I want to pay for Nintendo games, especially games that I probably won't play, but uh, it's too good of a deal to pass it up. It was Shatterhand for the NES. Label's really good condition. Starting to peel up a little bit on the back end there, but those are kind of the games I keep in these hard cases. So let's get into some box games, man. Box games are great. So here's my deal with box games. I love having them. They're really cool. Uh, I'm not going out hunting down you know, NES boxes, I kind of, if I find them, that's great. There may be three or four that I'm looking for, like Kung Fu, uh, Mega Man 3, stuff like that. But, you know, if I had Othello, I'm not going to go actively hunt the box for it just to have it complete. But over time, you end up picking up some of these boxes, which is really cool. So we've got uh, Air Fortress, American Gladiators, very, very nice copy of Batman. Uh, I remember I had the cartridge... And they had that at a game store for 20 bucks. So I bought that for 20 bucks and then I sold my cartridge for 10 to, you know, help recoup the cost. A lot of these boxes, to be honest with you, I got in a, at a garage sale a couple years ago. They were in a shoe box. Lady wanted 40 bucks for that in the console uh, and a copy of Contra. I gave her the 40 bucks. I was like, you mind if I check, see if the uh, games are in there? She said, yeah, the games weren't in there. They were just boxes, manuals, and inserts. Uh, she apologized profusely and insisted that I take $20 back. So we got a bunch of these boxes for dirt cheap. By the time we sold, you know, the copy of Contra on the console, these boxes were all free. This is one of them. The box manual, uh, the Battletoads Double Dragon poster, Battle Maniacs poster is inside there. So very, very cool to have that. Here's another one. Bubble Bobble manual, the Taito poster, everything. Just missing the game. So since then, we've picked up the game. 
Uh, no, I actually got this from Spruce Game Hunting. I had all the inserts and stuff, but I got the box from Spruce. So, I'm trying to remember, I'm, I'm getting old, so I start to re forget stuff. Uh, Chess Master. That's actually one I found out in the wild. It was like three or four bucks at a thrift store. Chippendales Rescue Rangers, classic game. Contra. Oh God, I love me some Contra. What a great game, man. Double or double. Dragon Warrior. I'm gonna do an unboxing on this because inside here there's a map, there's a how to get things started cards, there's dungeon posters and maps. There's all kinds of little goodies in here. The box is a little worse for wear, as you can see, but this thing is jam-packed with all kinds of goodies. So I will be doing a, an unboxing video of this, hopefully soon. The next stack, with a favorite right here, it's a classic game, Darkwing Duck. If you haven't played Darkwing Duck, man, try and get a hold of it. It's like it's built off the Mega Man 5 engine, so it plays great. Uh, Little Nemo the Dream Master. Classic right here, Dr. Mario. Remember that commercial? With the witch doctor yeah classic uh, my most valuable game in my collection a sealed copy of duck tales 2 still factory sealed on that uh, i got that in a trade one of the subscribers hit, hit power player paul up and said hey i found four of these at a goodwill for like a dollar 99 i think is what the sticker says on there so you got four sealed copies of this at goodwill for uh, two bucks each. He sold one, kept one, sold one, sold or traded one to Power Player Paul. And uh, it was very nice of him to think of me and wanted to trade, so I traded him like a huge box of stuff uh, to get this into the collection. So I've been thinking about selling that and getting a pickup truck, using the, the proceeds to get a pickup truck. So uh, Flying Warriors, another Culture Brain game. Black Box Golf, Gradius. Every time I see that uh, logo now, I think of Trevor from Top Loaded Gaming, James Bond Jr., and uh, Kirby's Adventure, a game that I just beat this year, so pretty cool. All right, we got Kiwi Craze. Super Mario Bros. 2, my favorite of the Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Bros. 3. I would like to get a box for Super Mario Bros. 1, that way I have them all complete. Spy vs. Spy. Uh, Some of these got a little bit out of order. Happy to have this, man. Excite Bike, Black Box, Excite Bike. Man, what a great game. Build Your Own Track, Mega Man 4, uh, DuckTales, and Battletoads. Very cool to have Battletoads and DuckTales. Games I had when I was a kid. Uh, I recently got those. I put them in protectors. I just threw them on the shelf. I didn't have time to. Well, I had time. I just got lazy and I didn't put them in order. So. Uh, we got Vindicators, got that one from Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, Yoshi's Cookie, Tiny Toon Adventures, and then we got a box for a cleaning kit. Okay guys, you get this uh, somewhat level. Coming down to the end, we got Magician, got that from Woodbury and Retro Game Hunter. My favorite game of all time, Mega Man 2. Should we talk about that for the next time? No, we're not gonna talk about it. Monopoly, Monster Party, Ninja Gaiden, got that box from Video Game Collector. Thank you so much. POW, Prisoners of War. Rad Racer 2, a square game. Look at that. RC Pro-Am. Rocket Ranger. Sure, that's a gem. Silent Service. Yeah, not a bad game, right? Skater Die 2. Sky Shark. Actually, that's a pretty tough shooter as well. Tailspin. Love that cartoon when I was a kid. Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Super Bowl. I think Tecmo Bowl is better. Just my own personal view. We got uh, Ninja Turtles. God, what a, what a sensation Ninja Turtles was back in the day. Uh, Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. This is why I want the box for Ninja Turtles 2 so bad. I feel incomplete. I've got a complete copy of 1 and 3. My OCD goes into like overdrive. Tetris. Great game. Great game. Tiny Toons Cartoon Workshop. I don't actually see that game a lot, especially complete in box. Top Gun. To the Earth. And the last one here we have is The Wrath of the Black Manta. 
All right, guys, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for hanging in there watching this entire video. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what some of your favorite NES games are, or what some of the NES games that you are always on the hunt for. Now, people ask me, you know, if you found a copy of Little Samson, or you found a copy of, you know, Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak, you know, would you keep it in the collection? That's a great question. Those are valuable Nintendo games. I love the Nintendo, like I said. I'm really only trying to collect a childhood collection, so I think I would do what uh, Brad and Eric from Chasing the Classics did. And if you don't know the story, they found a copy of Stadium Events for 99 cents at a thrift store. Uh, you know, they took pictures with it, they played it, they enjoyed it, you know, showed it to their friends, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And when it was time, you know, they moved it on. They had no nostalgia for the, uh, for the game. And honestly, if I find a video game out in the wild that's worth, you know, a thousand bucks or five thousand bucks or whatever those games are going for, uh, I, again, I would love, I'd post it on my Facebook and all that stuff, but I think I would, I would pass it on, you know what I mean? I've got an emulator, I don't have any nostalgia, you know, for Little Samson, although it's a great game. Um, yeah, so I guess that answers that question. I, I sort of get that one sometimes on my live stream, so... Thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to click the like button, click the subscribe button, bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM retro gaming goodness. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves.